Hi, I'm Joy. From time to time, new Tesla owners would ask me how come when they go supercharged, they don't experience their 250 kilowatt charging speed at V3 superchargers. Well, I am here to explain. The first and foremost thing you should be aware of is that the 250 kilowatt charging speed is the maximum rated speed that Tesla publishes. This does not mean that your Tesla will be charging at a constant 250 kilowatt speed for the duration of your supercharging session. It's like my Tesla Model 3 has a top speed of 140 miles per hour, but that does not mean I am going to be driving at that speed all the time. It simply means that my car has the potential of reaching that speed. There have also been those who complain that the 250 kilowatt speed is a scam because it does not stay at that speed for the entire supercharging session. For those who complain about this, they do not understand that when your car is receiving such high power of electricity, it produces really high heat, which is not good for your battery. If you charge at the maximum speed at a prolonged period of time, it will damage your battery cells and reduce the longevity of your battery. For reference, here's what the supercharging graph looks like. Basically, with V3 supercharging, it will peak at 250 kilowatt charging speed pretty quickly, and then it will taper off as the battery is getting fuller. This is regulated by the Tesla Battery Management System, or BMS, to ensure that the battery cells are not being fried. Now that you understand how V3 supercharging behaves, here are factors that will prevent you from seeing that 250 kilowatt maximum charging speed. I'll show you my two most recent supercharging sessions as well, so you can see what's going on. Number one, you need to run your battery low, like down to 10% or below, in order to see the 250 kilowatt maximum charging speed. There have been people who started supercharging at 50% or even 70%, and they're not seeing the speed go up much at all. Going back to the BMS behavior I just mentioned, this is because the battery is already getting fuller, so the BMS is regulating it with slower charging speed to protect your battery cells from being fried by high heat. Number two, make sure you always use the on-screen navigation to go to a supercharger. When you tell your car that you're going to a supercharger, the car will automatically start to precondition or prepare your battery for supercharging. This will warm up your battery while you're en route for faster charging speed. If you do not allow your car to precondition your battery, you will likely see much slower charging speed. Your Tesla will even display a message both on screen and in your Tesla app, telling you that your battery is cold and therefore will not be charging at a faster speed. Number three, even if you use the on-screen navigation to go to a supercharger, it still takes a while for your battery to be fully preconditioned. As you can see from this charging session, Although my car said it was preconditioning my battery at 19% while I was on my way to a supercharger, it was still not fully preconditioned because I only drove two miles to the supercharger. While charging, my car told me that my battery temperature was still low and my charging speed was therefore limited. Since we're talking about your Tesla's battery, I want to mention the sponsor of this video, Recurrent. If you are curious about how your car's battery is doing, sign up at recurrentauto.com and get a free report on your battery performance. Here's what my Recurrent report looks like for my 2018 rear wheel drive Model 3. My battery is still super healthy 
which is impressive. This report is not only helpful for you to get insights into the health of your battery, but it also will come in handy when you want to sell your Tesla and can use this information to negotiate for the best selling price based on your battery condition. On the other hand, if you are in the market for a used Tesla or EV, there's now transparency on what you are buying to avoid getting an EV lemon with a bad battery. Recurrent partners with many dealerships throughout the country who can provide you with a battery report on the used EVs they have for sale. So you can rest assured that you are getting a fair deal. It is super easy to connect your Tesla to the recurrent platform and generate your battery report, and the connection does not drain your battery at all. So go to recurrentauto.com and get your free battery report today. Now that we know what the limiting factors are for your Tesla to charge at the maximum 250 kilowatt supercharging speed, how can you experience that super fast charging? Here's what my second supercharging session was like. My battery was at 15% when I was ready to go supercharge. I used the on-screen navigation to go to the supercharger, so my battery was being preconditioned on the way there. I drove about 20 miles or 40 minutes in LA traffic to get to the supercharger. When I arrived, my battery was down to 7%. As you can see from this charging session, the charging speed quickly jumped to over 250 kilowatt charging speed at 10% of battery. It stayed pretty consistent at that maximum speed until about 20% before it started tapering off. It then dropped to below 200 kilowatt charging speed when my battery reached 35%. And it charged from 7% to 50% in just 10 minutes. While these are tips for you to experience that maximum 250 kilowatt V3 supercharging power, this does not mean that if you cannot follow these tips, that charging will be super slow. On the contrary, most of my supercharging sessions are from about 20% to 90% once or twice a week with little to no preconditioning. And it typically takes about 35 minutes for me to charge those 70% of battery capacity, which is not bad at all. That half an hour of charging session usually gives me some much needed break during my busy day. And now Tesla is starting to roll out V4 superchargers. Supercharging will only take less and less time on the road as Tesla continues to improve on the technology. I hope you found the information in this video helpful when you supercharge. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and God bless you.